Hey guys, good morning. Captain here with you. Jamo Lemma. Hello. Little D. We're all here today. Whew. Hold on guys, camera's a little fuzzy again. There we go. So we're hanging out Saturday morning here at uh, Big Cypress Tree State Park. We'll get up here on the sign, get you a good view of it. But we are uh, going to start visiting the state parks, getting stamps showing we've been there. They've got a bunch of little things to do here, some boardwalks, different trees. There is a geocache here that we're going to go and try to find maybe later on. And Right, so we'll uh, see you around. We'll show you our trip. Hey guys, so we're done at the visitor center. We got a little trail map up here. We're headed down here to the boardwalk. There used to be a couple geocaches at this park. I believe there's just the one, like I was saying, and I don't even know if we're going to be able to get to it. But uh, we're going to see. They said they got a lot of trees down on the trails, so the stuff has been marked off for a little bit. But we'll see. I know there used to be one over here. On one of these trees used to have a face. I, I, I don't remember quite where it was, but behind the face was the cache. But I think actually it might be over by this house more. I think I do remember that. I don't remember exactly where it was. I don't even. I don't even know if it was that geocache is still on the map or not because I haven't pulled it up. But anyways, so we're headed down here. Pretty nice little sidewalk. Wait right till we get to the boardwalk. Should... Mm, I definitely want to buy this house. That's an old structure there. No, no. <laughs> I thought it was a new structure. God no. Seems inside. No, no, no. We, we've seen enough horror movies. What do you think used to be? Here? Eh, there's an old mattress. Used to be a house of some sort. See, there's some steps there to go upstairs. We've seen so in? many horror movies. How do we not know not to trap? No. Creepy, creepy, creepy what? Mind. No, we we've creepy seen enough horror movies to know not to go in it, just not to look in it. We always look in them. We just don't go actually in them. So. Those must be windows or doors? Uh, might be a door, might be a window. But okay, so there you guys go. We'll see more later throughout the day. See you around. Nice little walk, guys, hanging down the boardwalk. Beautiful scenery. Jemmy, hi. Declan, hi. Hello. I'm trying to see some animals. We haven't seen any yet. Yes, the birds are loud. No, it's a bridge. Oh, the bridge. Uh oh, Shh. they're telling me to be quiet. Shh. Yes. <laughs> oh, I love this, guys. I really do. I love nature. Until I try to eat you. Well, that's big nature. I didn't say I love big nature. I said I like nature. <laughs> Anyways, pretty cool. I'm sure we'll have a lot on this video. So, might end up turning into two. Who knows? I don't. You don't. They sure don't. Here we're coming up on the wetlands. I totally want to walk in there. I wonder what okay. kind of creatures live in the wetlands. Anybody maybe. know? Turtles. Turtles? I don't know. Turtles possibility. I don't know. Just a guess. Maybe some beavers? I don't know. Well, there are some trees down. Maybe some beavers. I would say turtles, frogs. Maybe whatever the heck that is. Definitely not Where? That's a log. Oh, that's not he, thought it was, he thought it was an alligator. No, I I'll bring it back. You go Declan had to clear the path. Segregation. There we go. Cleared the path so we can get through. Thank you, Declan. I wonder how deep the water is. Hey guys, Captain and the kids. We've made it to the uh, end of the boardwalk trail. We have river trail access denied. We, uh, Obviously can't go. They've got down trees, flooding. We did talk to the ranger. Shush. So we did talk to the ranger, and the ranger said they are going to work on fixing this trail. We can't get to the big tree where it used to be, but it's something they're supposed to work on this fall. So that's it. That's where we're at. Pretty cool. Anyways, we're going to uh, head back down the trail, back to the car. There's another trail that loops around somewhere else to the... Uh, playground and the flower garden that Gemma's excited about taking pictures at the flower garden totally. so we'll be there here shortly stay along for the adventure
That'd be an amazing surprise. Boardwalk Trail has been completed. Now we're going to head over to the concrete trail where we can see some more information about the big tree. Huh? And there's a playground. Who's going to run to the playground? Me. Go. No! You cannot leave me! Ah! That's my kids for you. I don't know, I wasn't looking, I was talking to the camera. Sorry. Yeah. Do it again! No. <laughs> they said no. You guys gonna climb up it or are we gonna go do the trail? Aha, uh -huh, you're gonna forget me over here. Ah! Some people don't grow up, huh? My 10 year old, up? my 13 year old playing on the playground. You, like you aren't gonna get up here after you turn the camera off. I'm not, my back hurts. Yes, you are. We'll come back through and play. Wee, how fun! Hey, getting ready to go on the ne next part of the trail, but we are at the informational sign. This concrete pad that you see here, you're seeing, is in the shape of the stump of the big tree that was struck by lightning. That David Crockett slept in, I believe, is true. Is that right, Declan? He slept in the tree? Yes. Okay. My son, Declan, y'all know him. He did a report on David Crockett. That's one of the reasons he was excited about coming here because he, David Crockett, lived in a tree. In, on this property and he did a report so he Why wants to see the area like so that's what we'll be doing now hitting the next pair of tra tra trails and there is a geocache somewhere out this way and we're gonna see how close we can get and maybe get it i'll let you know obviously hey guys so we found a little offbeat trail not concrete just been a cut through the fields and the forest and it looks like it's taking us towards the geocache so that's a plus how y'all feeling about this feeling fun feeling like this is an adventure kind of kind of an adventure we're about three oh, no. three hundred and fifty eight feet so we're just gonna keep on going and see where we land I'll bring you back when we get closer see you guys around oh, stop. Gonna hit me. there they are <laughs> here I am 90 <laughs> feet 90 feet we're almost there guys you're doing good got to keep praising my kids because this is not their favorite thing to be doing right now getting impaled is not my favorite thing how did you know uh, I meant geocaching I just don't like hiking through forests and getting impaled. Well, it's it's only one cache we're getting today, so that's why they're willing to do it for me. Doing it for their dad. Totally. Captain Geo. And then once we get there, the faster we find it, the faster. Oh, no, we're not. I see her. Found another spider web. <laughs> Woohoo. No problem. 30 feet. It just vibrates. We're getting really close, guys. Really close. I see it. I hope so. I feel like a run. Do you see it, really? No. Oh. No, I'm talking about the clearing. Well, we're not in the clearing. We're 10 feet from the cache, so the cache is supposed to be around here somewhere. Okay, so let's see here. If you see orange, you've gone to... Okay. Don't, don't walk in that thing, not walk in that. No, we're not gonna go there. You go across that tree. I'm gonna stand here. Okay, the hint was if you see orange, you've gone too far. Well, there's orange. There's orange, that's too far, so it's back this way, probably. Okay, so here we go. Let's see if we can find this one. Um, it, it's supposed to be a regular size, so. Uh, used to be an ammo can, but I don't think it is anymore. Yeah, something like a Tupperware dish. Two feet. I'm at two feet right here. Okay, so somewhere in this vicinity. Two feet. I see it. Where? I don't. Don't say that. He don't do that, dude. Okay, I'm gonna put you guys away while we look, and I'll bring you back. So guys, they're looking. They're they are trying. It's, we found out it is hanging. It's not on the ground. I've done seeing it. I can't believe I didn't see it as soon as we walked in here. It's so big, so massive, and it's it's not even a little tube. It's not a little bison tube. It's about yay big, Gemma. Look at about yay big. Hanging. Oh my God, see it. I know. It's crazy that we didn't see it. I didn't see it the first time up. Gemma's you looking. Gemma, go look. If you think you see it, go grab it. Oh, she's doing a balancing act. Dun, dun, dun. Boo, doo, 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 boo. We got her. Look at that, Dad. Yeah. yeah, you're on in the right direction. Oh, I see it. <laughs> oh my God. How do we not see ah. that? It's literally right next so, to me. So there we are. There they've seen it. 
See, look at that. Look how big that tube is. <laughs> Insane. I don't know how we missed it, but we got it. Awesome sauce. I'll see you in the next one. Hey guys, so after we got that geocache, we finished the walk on the trail. A little flower garden, not much there. Not really blooming season. But we did find a set of swings. Dad, so the, the kids are gonna swing for a little bit. I think I'm gonna swing too. So we'll uh, have some swing time. Now, do we want to record, guys, us swinging, like from here? Or do we want to put the camera in my hand and swing? I'm going to swing with the camera. No. Swing with the camera. Over there on the uh, bench. Swing. I'm going to take it from you. Hello. Hello, viewers. Declan and I are almost in sequence. Beat beat <laughs> beat beat ah, I can Pretty it. cool, guys. Swing time, we call this. Wait. Swinging with the captain. Swinging. Something with the captain. <laughs> Everything with the kids. The kids are here. Let's Swinging with the, the family. Captain. Ready? We're going to jump. Should the captain jump off the swing? No, you're going to twist your ankle. Captain, and fall and break, break your leg. Your Wait. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Wasn't a big jump, but there it is. Awesome time. Woo. Anyways, you guys have a good one. I'll show you more later, but we're gonna swing for a while, so awesome. Hey guys, so here we are. We're in a small town of Rutherford or something like that. It's uh, on our way to Union City, but there is a replica of David Crockett's last home that he lived in with his mother and father, I believe. So we figured we'd come up here, take a look at it, and enjoy the beautiful weather. Actually uh, there's a lawnmower back there making a lot of noise away from his home when he's a little boy because he actually started to skip school like he didn't actually go to school he just like went to the building and sat outside and came home at the same time as his brothers and um eventually and when his father started to like figure out then he left his house because he was afraid of what might happen to him if his father found out that he was skipping school gotcha well there's our little history lesson about him skipping yes. school my, my uh smart little son there yeah this what their houses looked like then. At first, I thought he was flipping us off. Pretty cool little statue. Actually, statue. Wood. Make sure he's not real. Make sure he's not real. Make sure he's not actually alive. Imagine he's actually. Cool. Let's take a walk down this way. The doors so, are locked. Well, yeah. I've checked that one. Yeah, see, here's the sign. They're open from 8 to 5, visit cabin or schedule an appointment Monday through Friday. So yeah, it's closed on Saturday and Sunday. Oh, Damn. Requires donation of $3 adults, $1. Stay out of the ditch, they say. Yeah, it said stay out of the ditch. Okay, let's go walk over there. Sure. I don't care. I got nothing else to do. So yeah, museum's closed on Saturday, so it is cool, whatever. Yeah, well, maybe we'll come back during the week one day. Who knows? The summer or something. Wow, I totally want to walk on this. Don't break. Crossing oh, over. Yeah, it's gonna break this. Well, not much over here, so. Yeah. There you go. Taking the tables. What's that sign say? There's a sign over there. A little black sign. Let me go read it. Oh, Declan's gonna read it this time. Okay, dope. Here we go. I can't read. Oh, he can't read. Bob something. Memorial Park. park. Okay. So that's. Memorial Park. Ain't much there at the park. Oh, we'll cross back over the bridge and move on with our day, but we wanted to stop because of the David Crockett thing, so cool. Sure. Hey guys, we're here at the next cache. I can't see because my glass is fogged up, which probably tells me your camera's fogged up, which it is. There we go. That's better. So we actually had some time to kill before we could check into our hotel. So we figured we'd shoot out here, or actually in the Kentucky area. Not, nothing there but a beehive and reach down here oh there it is it's down there but it's tied to the pole so it's there it is bison tube hey guys you're upside down or i'm upside down or i'm not sure anyways there we are bison tube hold on camera's acting up again there we go little bison tube awesome sauce see ya at the hotel probably swimming hey guys captain and the kids we are uh we are at the hotel and we are going to spend the afternoon and evening swimming. 
and there's the echo of a swimming pool so this is over thank you for watching thank you for subscribing and we'll see you in videos in the next and that's Declan swimming along there's Gemma and I'm getting in so I'll see you later